All right, so if you're looking at this particular question, we have a lead carbonate in a particular ore, and it's a 3.15 gram sample. So what we're doing here in step one is actually reacting it with the S excess nitric acid. And you can see through this reaction that the nitric acid dissolves the insoluble um, lead carbonate because you can see the state there is solid and it then becomes the aqueous lead nitrate ion which is highly toxic and carbon dioxide gas bubbles so the salts water and carbon dioxide then after the leftover acid is going to be neutralized with sodium hydroxide to form the sodium nitrate salt and water so in the first question here it says state one observations that would indicate the reaction step was complete well there's actually two so i'll go through both of them so the lead carbonate actually dissolves so you actually see the lead carbonates um, disappear and also the carbon dioxide bubbles would actually stop being produced Okay, so now the volume of nitric acids added in step one was 25 mils. So it says calculate the number of moles of nitric acid. Now if you go back to the question, it actually tells you the concentration of the nitric acid. So C equals N over V. So if I rearrange that, N is equal to C times V. So N is going to be equal to 0.6. 293 times by the 25 mils. Don't forget to actually um, change that into litres. Please leave the double zero there because it actually shows the precision um, that you have. So moles is going to equal to 0 0.01573. And we need that to be to four sick figures. Okay, because everything else was in um, four significant figures. And, okay, going down to the next one here. The volume of sodium hydroxide required to neutralize it after it finished was 23.67 mils. Calculate the number of sodium hydroxide that reacted with the nitric acid. So N equals CV as before. So we have... 0.1423 now where did I get that number from you actually see it there so that's actually the concentration and that's going to be times by the uh, 23 mils 23.67 mils given so don't forget to change that into litres so point uh, 02367 that then gives you a concentration of 3.368 times 10 power minus 3. I've written it in um, scientific notation because there's lots of zeros and it's just easier to read this way. And that also is in four sig figures. In the next question, it says calculate the number of moles unreacted in the nitric acid that remained. Okay, so the ratio of the nitric acid reacting with the sodium hydroxide is a one-to-one -one ratio. So the ratio is one-to-one. -one. So the moles of sodium hydroxide will equal the moles of the nitric acid and that will be equal to 3.368 times 10 to the power of minus 3 moles. Calculate the number of moles of nitric acid that were reacted during step 1. Okay, so we originally worked out the number of moles that we had and we've now just worked out the number of moles that we have left over so we're going to do the subtraction so 0 0.0157325 i'm just using all the sig figures at the moment 
and 3.368 uh, to 41 times 10 to the power minus 3 and that will give us a value of 0 0.012364 Four two six, and we're still working in four sig figures, so the final answer will be zero point zero one two three six. In the next one here, look at the ratio of lead carbonate in the ore sample. So, knowing that we've just calculated the amount of nitric acid. All right. So we can actually so we've just worked out how much of that we need to work out how much of the lead carbonate. So it's a two to one ratio from the balanced equation. So the ratio is a half because it actually decreases. So I'm going to divide this answer we just worked out here, 0 0.01236 divided by two, and that's going to give me 6.182 times 10 to the power of minus 3 mole. Okay, so that's the lead carbonate in terms of mole that's reacted. Now calculate the percentage by mass of the lead carbonate in the ore sample. Well, first we need the relative molecular weight, so that's going to be equal to lead um, plus the carbon, which is 12.01 plus 3 times the 16 oxygens that we have here. Don't forget to use brackets, so that gives us a molecular weight of 267.21. Mass is going to equal the moles times by the relative molecular weight. So that's going to be 6.182 times by 10 power minus 3 times by the 267.21 so the mass that we actually had in the sample was 1.652 now the sample if you go back to the question was actually 3.15 grams so 1.652 divided by 3.15 to make that a percentage we'll do times 100 that will give us a percentage mass of 52.4% and that is going to be expressed as three sig figures. And that is it.